Hello and welcome to GeekCast. This week we're going to be talking about Marvel's newest superhero movie, Doctor Strange. And this movie is a phenomenal movie for a lot of reasons. You can check out my one minute review. The link's in the description. But it's just a fantastic movie and I just wanted to talk about it because it's so much different than anything we've seen the MCU bring out. Uh, we get to see wonderful portrayals of characters that I certainly have never been invested in as far as comic books. They're sort of second-hand characters, and all the actors play them perfectly in this movie. Uh, and I want to give props first to Scott Derrickson, because he really uses the war strange, bizarre world of Doctor Strange and sort of the mysticism uh, to build this world in a very interesting way. I mean, I've never seen a movie where the CGI has been so... Uh, basically insane and mind-boggling. I mean, it was one of the most visually stunning movies I've seen in a long time, and that's funny coming from a studio. I I'm saying that looking at a studio who's produced Guardians of the Galaxy and movies like uh, Avengers Days of Ultron, where there's plenty of wonderful pieces and plenty of CGI action, but it Doctor Strange just blows everything out of the water. And I'm not just talking about superhero movies, I'm talking about movies in general it's such a wonderful film and it brings so much to the mcu and i'm so glad they released this movie because it could have been easy for them to go the traditional route and just gone with traditional superheroes but they really pulled this b-lister out of marvel's uh ranks and made him you know one of you know the coolest characters in the mcu to date i mean this movie was phenomenal it, it just had everything it had humor it, it had action it had insane cgi it had a good plot it was just one of my favorite movies, and I really, I don't know, this movie is just fun fun to watch. I'd, I, you could see this movie 20 times and catch 20 different things you would never notice before. It's, it's such a great testament to Marvel and how they can take these characters nobody's ever heard of and make, make them into mainstream characters. It's just uh, amazing. And I was really hyped for this movie, and it didn't let me down, surprisingly. I, the... After seeing Age of Ultron a long time ago, that was the first Marvel movie that sort of let me down. Not that Age of Ultron was terrible, but it wasn't phenomenal. But I went in this movie expecting having high expectations, and it did not let me down whatsoever. But I just love Doctor Strange. I love everything about it. I love the direction they took it, especially with the spells, you know, because I'm used to watching movies like Harry Potter where they have these you know, wands and certain spells like that, but they actually use their hand motions in this movie to create spells, and the spells actually appear on screen, and just, they took the whole uh, sorcerer route a completely different direction than I had ever seen, and I was amazed by it. I just love this movie so much, and it, it, it was cool also to see sort of this character who's a very Tony Stark-esque character be humbled, but at the same time, it's not like he goes from... Uh, this person who's, you know, proud to this person who's humble to the point where, you know, he's destroyed. I mean, he still maintains a lot of his character. And props to the writers for allowing Benedict Cumberbatch to betrayal, or portray uh, Doctor Strange in this way. Because, you know, usually with a traditional superhero movie, you see the character go from, oh, I'm proud in this, to a very humble character. And while he's humbled in some ways, he still retains a lot of those character attributes and you know, you normally don't see that, so props to the writers for doing that. It was just, I just wanted to talk about it this week, because I really did love Doctor Strange. I loved everything about it, and I just really loved this movie quite a bit. So, I'm wondering, what did you guys think of Doctor Strange, you know? Uh, what what was your favorite part of Doctor Strange? What was your least favorite part? I would have to say my least favorite was probably um, Kaecilius, not because Mad Milkinson portrayed him bad, he portrayed him wonderfully, but he, he wasn't a very fleshed out villain, his motivations weren't really fleshed out, and I, you know, that's something I wanted to see more, but I'm really hyped for the new, uh, for the next Doctor Strange and the next movie, of course, with Mordo in it after the after credit scene, but what's your favorite part, what's your least favorite part? I hope you've enjoyed this geek cast, remember to like and subscribe for more weekly podcasts, this has been Jonesy from Jones for TV, signing off.